Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Well, today we are looking at some dangerous underwater creatures that you should 100% stay away from. So, take our advice and stay far away from danger. Number 10. Fire Coral On our first entry of this list we have the fire coral. And the word fire should already set off alarm bells in your head. Not many things that include the word fire are non-dangerous. Even beautiful things like fireworks and campfires can still cause a fire which can be a huge danger to people around them. So naturally, this coral wouldn't be any different. Many people don't actually know that corals aren't classified as plants, but rather as animals. Some of them can even walk. Some divers can accidentally brush against the coral and it's quite sharp. So sharp actually that it can easily scrape the skin and leave wounds. This alone wouldn't be much of an issue, however, if it weren't for the venom. Yes, the venom. Part of a defense mechanism, this venom is incredibly painful and the pain can last anywhere from two days to two weeks. Pain isn't the only thing it introduces though, as some of the side effects are fevers and lesions. When diving, it's important to know the ecosystem around you and to wear a quality diving suit. Oh, and maybe not go around touching random things in the ocean. That's a recipe for pain. Number 9. Flower Urchin When looked at from afar, which by the way is the only distance you should look at it, this urchin looks a little bit like an underwater cauliflower. Don't you think? The flower urchin is a widespread and quite common urchin from the Indo-West Pacific. Even though it may not look dangerous, it's quite a mean opponent if you decide to bother it. It is even listed in the Guinness World Records as the most dangerous sea urchin, which should be a hint to you that it isn't something to be messed with. They have venomous spines that will act as a defense in case of an attack. These spines are not only able to penetrate through human skin, but are also able to pierce through a wetsuit. When stung, the sting results in intense radiating pain, prickling or numbness, abnormally low blood pressure, respiratory distress and muscular paralysis. There have been several deaths reported, but it is unknown if it was from the actual venom or if the victims drowned due to paralysis and breathing issues. In any way, if you ever encounter a flower urchin, you should stay as far away from it as possible. Number 8. Cone Snail Yes, you've heard me correctly. A snail? Really? You might ask now. How is it even possible that one of the most dangerous creatures underwater is a snail? Well, meet the deadly cone snail. There are around 600 types of this species. Some are less harmful than others and some are fatal. The deadliest cone snail amongst them is called the cigarette snail. People gave it this name because it is believed that once you got stung by this harmless looking creature, you would only have the amount of time left that is needed to smoke one cigarette before you die. This killer snail has a stinger that can shoot out like a harpoon without a warning. Some stings from smaller cone snails only hurt as much as a bee sting, while other bigger snails have much larger stingers and their venom is fatal to humans. The toxin has a pain-killing substance in it, making it impossible to detect the sting afterward, but don't be fooled by the lack of pain from this toxin. Only a few microliters of this specific cone snail are powerful enough to kill 10 people and there is no antivenom yet. The only thing doctors can do is to prevent the toxins from spreading and try to remove the toxins from the injection site. Number 7. Sea snakes. Snakes induce fear in many people, and for good reason. They have fangs with venom in them and have very fast reflexes. Did you know though, that you can also meet snakes while going diving? Yes, you heard that correctly. These snakes live underwater and can swim pretty well too, and look mesmerizing while doing it too. There are many different kinds of sea snakes, but for this entry, we are mainly talking about one, the Dubois sea snake, which is the most venomous amongst its sisters and brothers. This snake is typically found in Northern Australia, New Caledonia and Papua New Guinea. The venom in this snake is the most venomous toxin of all sea snakes that have been tested by scientists. The actual bite of the snake is mostly painless, as the actual fangs of the snake are rather small, which is why most people only start to notice it later on. When bitten, it can cause symptoms like severe fatigue, muscle weakness and total paralysis. If the antivenom is administered early enough, survivability is very high. Number 6. Lionfish Obviously, you would stay away from a lion, so you should also stay away from something that has lion in its name. This fish is considered an invasive species in the Atlantic. The definition for an invasive species is an organism that lives in an area where it is not native and causes ecological harm to its surroundings, meaning that it messes with other important animals or plants, and is considered a negative addition to the ecosystem. This fish will kill off other fish that helps with containing algae by eating it, making it a possibility that seaweed will take over the reefs. 
lionfish have no natural predators and are hard to get rid of. Not only that, but the lionfish also possesses venom that is roughly as venomous as that of a cobra. Though lionfish will not seek out humans, and most things are coincidental. When a human is stung, the affected area will swell, bleed, numb and bruise, but the good news is that these things aren't usually life-threatening. Number 5. Chironex I'm not going to lie, this jellyfish is probably what would haunt me in my dreams. They look a little eerie and out of this world-like. The Chironex is a type of box jellyfish that can be found in the Indo-Pacific, which reaches all the way from southern Japan to northern Australia. Their stings are highly venomous and have caused multiple human fatalities. The sting will cause excruciating pain, and if the sting area is significant, the victim may die in 2 to 5 minutes of cardiac arrest. The Chironex has been described as the most lethal jellyfish in the world, and it is said that the venom in one adult animal is enough to kill 60 adult humans, which is a pretty scary thought. To stay safe, be aware of your surroundings when diving, and watch for jellyfish warning signs. Number 4. Surgeon Fish For some reason, I just imagined this fish going to medical school, getting a degree, and then working at a clinic operating on humans. It's a pretty funny thought though, isn't it? While this name may seem a bit odd, it does have a good reason why it is named like this. This fish, mainly found around coral reefs and tropical waters, have dangerously sharp modified scales that can cause severe injuries to anyone who carelessly handles such a fish. Thankfully for us, the surgeon fish isn't usually very aggressive and only becomes so when provoked or threatened. Now, the movie Finding Nemo can be seen in a very different way, as Dory was actually a type of surgeon fish, but doesn't have the modified scales. Number 3. Indonesian Needlefish these fish can mainly be found in tropical and subtropical waters and are usually only dangerous to humans when hurling themselves out of the water. As the name might suggest, the Indonesian needlefish is known for its needle-shaped beak, which is also unbelievably sharp. Not many accidents happen, but when they do, they can end up fatally for the person in question. Many of the victims are fishermen, who accidentally get stabbed when the needlefish jumps out of the water and are sometimes unable to reach the shore in time to get medical attention. The most famous case of this fish is when a boy named Mohammed Idur was out fishing with his parents, when suddenly one of the needlefish jumped out of the water and impaled him in the neck. He got knocked off of the boat, but managed to swim to the surface, with the fish still inside his neck. Thankfully, he managed to receive life-saving surgery just in time and is now on the road to recovery. Number 2. Triggerfish this fish is mostly friendly towards anyone that may swim around in its vicinity, but it is only friendly towards you until you are a threat to its nest and territory. As expected, it is mainly the mothers of the nest who will swim after you to drive you away, but that doesn't mean that males wouldn't protect their brood. Once you are a threat to them, they will not only swim after you, but might also bite you. Thankfully, their bite isn't venomous. However, the triggerfish's teeth are rather sharp, which isn't the most obvious thing when you first look at them. Curious divers are the main victims of this bite, as they may unknowingly approach a nest to study some fish in the reef. The bite can cause severe wounds and will almost definitely need medical attention at a hospital. It's best to always stay a little distance away from things you don't know. After all, the fish isn't really the bad guy here, it's just trying to protect its family. Number 1. Portuguese Man of War this animal, while looking incredibly beautiful, is one of the most dangerous ocean creatures on the planet. The man of war, sometimes called the blue bottle jellyfish, can mainly be found in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The name man of war comes from the resemblance of an 18th century Portuguese warship that looks incredibly similar when at full sail. This animal can mostly be found on the surface of the ocean. Their gas-filled bladder remains over water while the rest is submerged. The jellyfish doesn't have any means of moving itself and is therefore driven by water currents and the wind. Strong winds may drive them onto beaches and usually they are multiple to be found as they remain in large groups. The man of war can deliver a very painful sting that can inject venom into whatever is unlucky enough to come across it. This sting is powerful enough to kill fish but there are also known cases where people have been killed. The jellyfish can still sting while beached on land, which is why many beaches are closed down when it is known there might be multiple of them laying around. So, do you think we missed something? If yes, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. We will see you soon.